Yo, what's going on? It's Zach. In this video, we are going to be going over all of the Stage 2 Plus uh, mods that we did and basically the full build uh, breakdown. So in the last video, I went over all of the specific uh, mods that we were going to be putting on. So just to recap, we did the Stage uh, 2 Plus uh, turbos by CTS. We did VRSF 3 inch all the way uh, all the way through Catalyst downpipes. We did VRSF uh, uh, silicone two inch uh, upgraded size inlets. We'd have the two inch so, uh, two inch inlets now. Uh, we have the VRSF aluminum outlets. Those are also an increased uh, diameter to 1.75 inch. Uh, we have the Wagner Performance uh, Evo 2, I believe, uh, intercooler. That one's rated for 1,000 horsepower. Um, what else did we do? We have the Dynan ignition coils. We have the uh, NGK colder spark plugs. We have the Active Auto Works uh, tune on this. Uh, we didn't touch uh, anything in fueling. We also did upgraded durometer uh, engine mounts and upgraded durometer transmission mounts just uh, to help us essentially uh, put the power down and reduce over or increase overall just chassis uh, stiffness. And also with my old transmission mounts under really hard braking or really hard acceleration, there'd be a little bit of shift in uh, in the whole in the whole transmission, it would kind of pitch forward and pitch backwards a little bit, which um, when you're braking and you have your hand on the shifter and you're ready to downshift, uh, it doesn't really make uh, how should we say it doesn't really inspire too much uh, confidence. But now that's uh, now that we've installed the upgraded durometer, everything there's absolutely no slop. Um, so without further ado, I think we should uh, just go right into it. I'll start with some exhaust clips, we'll do some drive-bys, and then I'll do some uh, actual footage of it driving.
So now that we've gone and done a bunch of the flybys, a little bit of the uh, driving clips, I'm just going to do kind of like a raw uh, driving. So we're going to start with a semi cold start and then we're just going to go for a little bit of a drive just around the neighborhood, uh, get it warmed up and get some uh, just overall kind of uh, just audio of what the whole thing sounds like and feels like. <laughs> temperature uh, let's get a little bit of a second gear pull yeah it's a little cold uh, where I am right now it's uh, close to freezing so as soon as we hit boost we are basically uh, we're one wheel peeling essentially and I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera but we completely crab walk um, so let's uh, let's go to a little bit of a faster uh, faster spot. Uh, let's already have have some grip, and I'll just roll into a nice uh, third gear pull coming on right about now. Yeah, she's moving nice. The biggest thing I was worried about with uh, upgrading the turbos was getting rid of the response from stock. The stock turbos, if you've driven a 335i or an N54 motor that has the stock turbos, you basically have peak torque from 2000 RPM all the way across the power band. Um, however, they do fall flat on their face after about 5500 RPM, so if you have stock turbos, you're almost never going to redline or really uh, getting any of the top end. It's all about that uh, low and mid range for the stock stock turbos and um, but yeah, basically just the stock turbos uh, on this motor. However, as you as you guys can see with the previous pulls and with the pulls, the uh, throttle response is pretty much instant. There's a little bit of a like pedal delay like at that uh, first bit of the pedal. And obviously it, it is a, tur uh, a turbocharged car, so you're gonna have a little bit of lag. But for the most part, we have basically full, full torque, as far as I can tell, maybe gradually increasing from about 21, 2200 RPM all the way. And it pulls hard right to redline. Um, I've, yeah, I've, I've uh, used the top end more since having this car back than I think I, I ever have. Um, so if you guys are ever, or if anybody is looking to do um, turbo upgrades for their uh, their N54, I couldn't recommend the CTS Stage Two Plus ones uh, any any more at all. They're absolutely they're they're awesome turbos so far. Um, since getting the car back, I've put about two thousand, about three thousand kilometers on the car actually. So about two thousand miles, and uh, they've held they've held up perfectly. Uh, it's a little too early to tell in terms of reliability, but I've been treating them really well. Yeah, so with that being said, overall, I, I couldn't be happier with uh, the upgrades that we've done. Uh, it's unfortunate that we're just going into kind of late fall uh, and right into uh, just about into winter. So we're not really gonna be able to drive this car and really put it through its paces for, for a little while, up until about spring, maybe even closer to summertime when the roads uh, are a little less uh, wet. We've had uh, so far pretty solid weather over the last uh, over the last few weeks coming into uh, really coming really coming into the season. So I, I shouldn't be complaining, but uh, I can't drive the car uh, that I fully want to uh, at a, after about 3,000 RPM and anything more than about 30 or 40 percent throttle. I it basically just wants to spin. Like right now we are, let's uh, just do a fourth gear pull. I'll get the window down just a little bit so we can get some more sound. Let's hope it comes through. And yeah, traction light, traction light, traction light. And that was maybe 25% throttle. So nothing, um, really nothing. And it just wants to spin. Um, we don't have, uh, 
how should I say, we haven't uh, dyno tuned the car. Currently we're just running an active auto works stage, uh, stage two plus turbo or a, a map, sorry. It's an off the shelf map. Um, and it's been, it's been performing great. It's, uh, it's extremely smooth. Gonna have to move here. It's extremely smooth. Uh, it's not crazy, uh, crazy obnoxious with backfires or burbles. It does burble a little bit. I'm not sure if uh, you guys can hear that in uh, in the cat or in, with the camera audio on deceleration. Um, and overall, I think it it sounds great. It performs great. Uh, pretty soon, um, maybe in the next month or so, I'm gonna try and get a dyno session in just to get a base map and look at what my options are when it comes to doing a more like a like a custom map or something something of that nature and also just see if we can squeeze anything more out of the current mods that we already have on there uh, before going port injection and doing fueling and all that kind of stuff because ultimately I think we are gonna go uh, we are gonna go that way um, but yeah so that's that's basically gonna wrap up uh, that's basically going to wrap up this video. Thank you uh, for sticking with me. Thanks for watching uh, right to the end. And in the next video, we're going to be going over uh, we're going to be going over some body uh, mods. Um, so recently, or I guess a little while ago now, uh, I was rear-ended. So there's a big chip out of the rear bumper. Um, so there's a big chip out of the rear bumper, and um, rather than repairing the non M Sport bumper. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm working with a body shop locally, and we're going to be uh, sourcing, or we've already sourced uh, an M Sport bumper. So we're basically just gonna roll the uh, insurance money uh, into that. So in the next video, uh, that's what you can look forward to. And uh, until then, take it easy. Thanks for sticking with me, and we'll see you guys later.